guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chiara and I run the blog and Instagram Chiara's Atelier where I talk about my love of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, a bit of life, photography and handbags and today we're here to talk about one of my favorite topics, vintage handbags. I have loved vintage handbags for as long as I can remember. When I was a teenager all these bags that I'm kind of talking about now were the it bags of the moment. For me I love to buy them Okay, firstly, they're much more sustainable and a lot more affordable. Let's be realistic, now handbags, we have to sell kidneys, body parts, and sometimes the body parts can't fit in the handbags. So, you know, I just don't think it's the vibe. And also, I think there's something so unique about a vintage handbag. You can wear them and it's a conversation starter and not everyone's gonna have it. And it's a beautiful way of expressing yourself and your style. When it comes to buying the vintage bags, I know now it's become much more trendy and a big thing, but when it comes to buying a vintage bag, for me, it's about expressing your personality through it. So I think it's always fun to go, I think it's always fun to go for something colorful, bold, whatever your vibe is. So these are my top picks and my top finds that I'd love to share with you and that maybe you can go scouring the internet. To find so, something. let's start off with one of my favorite bags, which is the Louis Vuitton Murakami Speedy 25. I think it's a 25. This is the ever famous Murakami collection. Now, this is the cherry one, which isn't, I don't know if it's the most coveted ones. I know the ones with the multicolored ones are just beautiful and I love it. I found one the other day that is the full speedy multicolored one and you have no idea how much I want it. I'm resisting because my friend brought up a very good point. Would you actually wear it now as a 31 year old woman? I don't know. But this I enjoy wearing and I wear her all the time. I think it brings back that sense of nostalgia and of living my life of wearing the bag that I wanted when I was a teenager which is something that is just so beautiful about vintage bags because you might it might be the bag that you aspired to have and then now you can have it and also by the way cheaper than probably what it was I know it said some of these Murakami ones go for crazy money so I will try to find some cheaper or affordable versions of them down below and some of my favorite places to check out for vintage pieces so go down there and have a little look another bag that is not that common is the lady dior shoulder bag i don't know there must be a name for it it is in the classic dior canage it's kind of that quilting it has the like lady dior kind of tassels now that's why I call it a shoulder bag, Lady Dior shoulder bag, but I don't know if that's what it's called. This is a bag I think from the 90s. It's, this bag is nylon, which makes it a lot more durable than leather or lambskin or anything like that. This is a perfect everyday bag. You don't see many people with this bag and it's quite rare, but honestly you can find these for quite good affordable prices. I will link them down below. And you know, we like to be unique and this is just, you know, I'm casual. You wouldn't even know that this is a designer bag, except for the Dior dangly 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 bits. But this is great. I love it. I got it for crazy, crazy cheap money and it's beautiful. On the inside, I'm using this bag, so it's quite full. At the moment, it has like bright red lining, which is fancy. Love this bag, love this bag. And the vintage Dior kind of this nylon material bags, you need to be a little bit aware that sometimes they can appear sticky. So when you read the description of these bags, uh, from any websites, from Vestier to if you get it on eBay from the super sellers, email them if they have not mentioned it, that it could be sticky. This wasn't, isn't sticky and I got this in real life from a store, but sometimes they can be sticky. That's something a complaint I've heard about, but this isn't. So. Then another type of bag that I know that a lot of people are buying on the pre-love market is a Chanel bag. Now this isn't a classic Chanel bag, this is one of their vintage styles and I love a top handle bag. Now if you've been to my little nook of the internet you know how I feel about a top handle. But I just love the vintage styles and like the gold is still in good nick. I think that if you're going to invest in a pre-loved bag it should be a Chanel bag because you can get some of the more what do we call it, unique styles for much, much more affordable prices than if you try to get classic flaps or the single flaps or any sort of flat bag. Sometimes you can get bags like this for very, very good prices. So I highly recommend looking around the Chanel pre-love sections and looking at more unique designs because I feel like people look past designs like this because it's not the classic flap. And these are just as beautiful and just as classic with the quilting and the CC. It just doesn't have a chain strap, so just keep that in mind. 
Then another bag that is very 2000s of me is this Prada, I'm gonna say nylon, or is it satin? I think it might be satiny. But you know, Prada does these type of bags so well. We all know this Prada bag, which I have, which is nylon. And they do these itsy bitsy teeny weeny little, you know, perfect armpit bags is what I like to call it, you know, under the armpit bag. And this is just great. Now, I did get this from eBay. I got it from a seller and I have the authenticity card and everything. And honestly, I don't know. I wouldn't highly recommend going on eBay, but sometimes you do find some good finds from there. Um, if I can find these, one of these, I will link them down below because I remember seeing this on either on YouTube or on Instagram of someone having it in a hot pink and I was searching for that and I came across the black and I was like, I will always get used to the black and pre-COVID, this was my evening out bag when I didn't, you know, want to take a super precious bag out. Um, but yes, eBay is a good shout to kind of have a look but you need to know what you're looking for and beware of things. So do your research, you know, find out about the straps and look at the pictures and if it comes with authenticity cards. Uh, but also if you are going to buy on eBay, check out for some of the Japanese retailers because they are super strict with it in Japan. So you know you're getting an authentic piece. So just something to keep in mind. But this little Prada, little perfect 2000s bag is just the best little over the shoulder bag. Now let's go on to something fun. The Fendi baguette. She is good. She is the only baguette we should be having in our lives. <laughs> I'm joking. But if you were a kid that just loved Sex in the City, this brings back memories, right? Of just Carrie throwing it over her shoulders, running to the coffee shop to talk to the girls about Mr. Big. We do not want the toxic relationship, but we wanted the bag. So. I love a Fendi baguette, but girls or boys do not buy this from the shop because they're crazy money. Firstly, the new baguette does not look as cute as this, but if you do buy a new baguette, they're crazy money and they do not, do not sell sometimes for over a thousand pounds, which is ridiculous when they sell for like two or three grand. So I say to anyone, if you're going to buy a Fendi baguette, buy pre-loved because you can get some beautiful, unique ones like this beautiful little red number. And they are just so good. So I will link some of my favorite colors and things that I find down below because everyone needs a Fendi baguette. There's a baguette for everyone. But if you want a slightly bigger version of the baguette, this is the Fendi Mama bag. I think there was a Fendi Mama baguette, which is this one, which I have, but I couldn't find it for this video. But this little bag, not little, she's big. She's a good everyday under the shoulder bag, was a really good find. Now this was very affordable. This was, I think 150 or 200 pounds. So this is a bag that is an unsung style of bag because everyone talks about the Fendi baguette as being like a fit sorry my dog is getting very excited about the bag talk this type of Fendi baguette is the one that gets the most love while that this doesn't get as much praise and sometimes you can get these for really good prices so I will link some places that have this in stock and they come in fun prints and I've seen them come in like a knitted one that's pink and all sorts of things I, I, I'll pop up some pictures of the ones I'm talking about but these this is such a good unsung little Fendi bag. If you'd like to see a video of me talking about more vintage bags that everyone should be getting, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy, happy to talk about now, that. Last but not least, the it bag. One of the it bags, because there's always an it bag, but to me, a forever it bag, which is the Dior saddle bag. Now, if you've been to my nook of the internet, you can see my love for the Dior saddle bag. Now, I got these ages ago, and this one I still remember. I got this pounds or something like that because no one was buying them and I got this and I don't know why but this one is anyway this one is now a lot cheaper than these in the retail retail resale market but sometimes you can get these for a good price for me this is just such a nostalgic purchase I remember seeing this bag um with the pink monogram and I'm dying to get my hands I'm hunting I'm hunting like a lioness trying to catch my dinner for me and Chloe mm. but we haven't got her yet but we will get there we are manifesting this bag <laughs> but as I was saying she is cute I love these bags and I love the little mini one I mean it's not that mini because it 
is just the same size. If you would like for me to compare the new Lady, not Lady Dior's, the new saddlebags with these, I would love to do that video. So let me know in the comments as well below. Lots of things that you have to tell So me. these are my top picks of vintage pieces that I have found and bought and sharing with you. Let me know what your favorite vintage pieces are and which styles of bags and what brands you love to buy from. Or are you into vintage? Let me know. Let's start a conversation down below about buying vintage bags. And if you'd like to see me make more videos about vintage bags and bags to buy. I hope you enjoyed this type of video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy these styles of videos. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care guys. Bye and thank you for watching.